Hello everyone, I do hope that this important automotive event is going well. Unfortunately, I couldn't be with you today, but I hope this brief overview of DAB Plus and the automotive industry in Australia and the Asian region will be helpful. Now, interest in digital radio in the Asia Pacific is at an all time high, following some work undertaken by World DMB and CRA. Utilising DAB Plus equipment and expertise from Australia and Europe, World DMB and Commercial Radio Australia conducted DAB Plus demonstrations and workshops in Jakarta and Bangkok. Broadcasters in those cities were able to see firsthand the DAB Plus signal in operation locally, and as a result, a full scale trial is being planned by Thailand later this year. World DMB and Commercial Radio will continue to work together to highlight DAB Plus to the important motoring and receiver manufacturing Asian region. We are currently planning a full day workshop on DAB Plus at Broadcast Asia in Singapore in June, and we're jointly sponsoring the ABU Radio Asia Forum in Hanoi in July. We're also in discussions with Voice of Vietnam to host a DAB Plus workshop and tech demonstration immediately prior to Radio Asia. I've outlined this important activity in the region because, as you all know, these emerging digital radio markets have large populations that would stimulate growth in both the receiver and the automotive markets. The adoption of DAB, DAB Plus and DMB digital radio in these areas, with significant populations, will provide further rationale and encouragement for car manufacturers to include the multifunction DAB, DAB Plus and DMB chip as standard in all cars. Just to contextualise it, Thailand is the world's 12th largest auto manufacturing country, building 1.6 million vehicles in 2010. Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Mitsubishi all produce cars in Thailand, and other companies like Mazda produce car parts there, with Mercedes and BMW assembling vehicles in Thailand. Indonesia is the fourth most populous country in the world, and the government has made the auto industry one of five priorities to compete in the region in the vehicle manufacturing arena. Toyota leads the way in the Asia Pacific emerging markets and already includes DAB Plus in a number of models in Australia as standard. The Indonesian market is also looking at producing a low power base motor vehicle, aside from motor scooters, that could be badged to multiple brands and would make the mass integration of a DAB Plus receiver into a large market very rapid. In Australia, we believe we've made significant inroads with Australian vehicle manufacturers throughout the last 12 months. There are now 10 leading vehicle brands that include DAB Plus as either standard or as an option in Australia. Toyota, Ford, Hino, Lexus, BMW, Audi, Mercedes, Land Rover, Jaguar and Isuzu trucks. Some of the vehicles such as Ford, Jaguar and Isuzu have just become available with DAB Plus this year. But in the previous 12 months, CRA has been advised by the vehicle manufacturers that they have sold more than 14,000 units with a DAB Plus device. Ultimately, of course, our objective is to have every car sold in Australia with factory fitted DAB Plus capability, in addition to AM and FM. I stress that we continue to need AM and FM in Australia for quite some time until we reach agreement with the government to turn off the analogue signal once DAB Plus is rolled out nationally. As an industry, we work very hard to communicate the benefits of digital radio to all vehicle manufacturers. CRA even started the communication with the automotive industry before we had a signal on air, and we've continued to inform and educate the local industry about digital radio. We've offered the automotive industry in Australia incentives, such as bonus airtime and free advertising on commercial radio networks, workshops, testing of products and aerials, and ongoing communication and education about digital radio. Our most successful motoring industry promotion was with Toyota last year. To celebrate Toyota's inclusion of DAB Plus as standard in three of their Australian built sedans, we partnered with Toyota to celebrate the three year anniversary of DAB Plus digital radio in Australia with a massive all of industry outside broadcast. The commercial radio industry gave Toyota four weeks of airtime across 42 metropolitan commercial radio stations, developed a website where listeners could win a Toyota car with a digital radio, and we staged the event in five cities across Australia. 
In addition to the millions of dollars in airtime and media coverage on primetime TV news, we provided Toyota with an excellent database of thousands of people who entered the competition. This successful event is just one of the ways in which the radio industry is working with the local vehicle manufacturing industry to highlight the benefits of digital radio in vehicles. Our other major initiative is to tap into the 16 million registered vehicles already on the road. Earlier this year, we held an automotive installers workshop where we invited the aftermarket sector, that is installers and retailers, to a breakfast workshop to show them the options for DAB Plus to be integrated into vehicles after leaving the factory. Another key area the industry will focus on is the fleet car companies, hire car companies and second-hand car dealerships to show them the benefits of offering DAB Plus as an aftermarket option in their already registered vehicles. One of the questions we always get asked at these workshops is what about internet radio and some of the stream services available in some vehicles? Our answer is very simple. Internet radio or streamed radio cannot deliver the same content to millions of people at the same time in good quality. Free-to-air broadcast radio can. Streaming requires far too much bandwidth and the bandwidth requirements increase as the number of simultaneous listeners increase, making it very, very spectrum inefficient. In Australia and all over the world, the connected car is the buzzword. However, in Australia and all over the world, we suffer from dropouts and congestion of our mobile phone system. If everyone streamed music on their mobile phone at the same time, it would render the 3G, 4G connection useless especially in congested traffic, which is where you need your radio most. By the way, in Australia, the use of mobile phones in the car, unless they are in a fixed mount, has recently been banned on safety grounds. We do want our Australian radio listeners to have a free-to-air broadcast that is digital quality and robust and incorporates the strengths of live and local broadcast radio with local content, news, weather and information. Now don't misunderstand me. In Australia, we believe that free-to-air radio and the internet complement each other. With free-to-air DAB Plus broadcast providing the push of information via audio, text and web links and the internet allowing the pull via the telcos back channel. CRA is currently meeting with Australian telcos to demonstrate mobile devices, including the Samsung Wi-Fi 5 media player, which shows DAB Plus audio, text and images. There is interest from at least one local telco in supporting the adoption of DAB Plus in future smartphones. DAB Plus in phones allows broadcasters to embed links in their broadcast ads so that radio listeners can listen to an ad on free to air via broadcast, but click on the broadcast link to get more information instantly on their mobile handset. Broadcast DAB Plus is a definite advantage for car manufacturers and in these tough times, any competitive advantage is an asset. With 12% of listening in Australia already via DAB Plus, the industry heavily promoting the platform, consumer expectation is increasingly that DAB Plus will be standard and vehicles not supporting it will be quickly disadvantaged. With more than 1.6 million DAB Plus listeners each week and 1.2 million digital radios sold in a little over three years, and without the impetus of a switch off of analogue, the industry is very pleased with the progress in Australia. Our plan is to get DAB Plus chips into all devices, but most importantly, to have DAB Plus broadcasts made freely available to our loyal in-car listeners who in Sydney and other cities, like many of your major cities, seem to be spending more and more time in traffic, and they want local news, weather and information. Vehicle manufacturers offering digital radio will be able to provide great digital quality sound in their vehicles, a better, more robust signal than either analogue or definitely the internet, access for drivers to more and more digital stations, and more static information on screen, including live local weather, local emergency and local traffic information and warnings, local parking information, road work updates, etc, etc. And all of this being delivered free to air, which adds value to the vehicle and makes the driving experience more enjoyable for the driver. Thank you for your time today and I hope I've given you a good snapshot of what's happening here and in the Asia Pacific region. 
We hope to see more and more cars, certainly in Australia, with DAB Plus as standard in the next couple of years. Enjoy the conference.